Hello, my team. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and we are on a road trip. Katie is driving, and Emily's back there. It's just mom and the girls, and we are going to just north of Miami today. Katie found out last minute, I guess yesterday, that there was a color guard clinic, and she kind of wanted to go, and she asked if I would want to go with her. So, guess what I'm going to do while she's at the clinic? I'm going to go book shopping. Emily and I are going to hang out and just do some fun stuff. And I'm excited. So, we are on the Florida Turnpike right now, headed south. We left about 6.30 this morning, and it is now about 9 a.m. And I will vlog or whatever along the way and let you know what kind of fun things we end up doing. So, just wanted to say hello, and we'll talk to you soon. One thing we've been doing, um, I've been reading out loud to Katie. Um, I was kind of preaching to the choir uh, for her, though, because this book, Eat to Live by Joel Furman, uh, I was to the chapter where he was really talking about um, animal products versus uh, plant-based products, and Katie's already a vegetarian, so uh, <laughs> everything I was reading, she's like, yep, yep. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to give this diet a, a try. My sister also ordered the book. So she's going to be reading it too, and um, we're hoping that we can both lose some weight and get a little healthier. So I was reading some of this out loud, and um, I finished the chapter that I was on. So yay for that. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I'm in the driver's seat now, uh, but we haven't left yet. We're still sitting in front of this church gymnasium where Katie's color guard clinic is taking place and it's sponsored by a team from Miami but we're in a town called Davie Florida a lot of times these independent teams will rehearse at churches or schools or wherever they can find a space and so this big Miami team is hosting this clinic and Katie is hoping to audition for one of the college color guard teams for the winter season and maybe she talked about auditioning for the marching band season, but now she's going to take online classes, so she's probably not going to do that, but just to kind of stay up with things and learn as much as she can and be prepared for the winter season, she wanted to do some of the clinics that the different teams are hosting. So anyway, she just found out about this one yesterday, and we drove three and a half hours to get here, and when we pulled in, she said, oh, there's a thrift store at this church, so um, that's where Emily and I have been. Once Katie got checked in, and we kind of got everything squared away with, you know, who's got what car key and all of that, then Emily and I walked over to the thrift store. It was a very small one, but I did buy a few things. I think I spent maybe eight dollars or not quite eight dollars I got three books and I got a pair of shoes I have been needing just a throw around pair of tennis shoes that are decent enough that I could wear somewhere um, these were five dollars and they're size 10 I wear like a nine and a half to ten which you know is not always easy to find and so um, I'm real happy about that I also got a packet of scrapbook paper they had two different ones one of them was a family one and I didn't really uh, it had stuff that I wouldn't necessarily use, but this is a school one. It, it already has some taken out, and uh, yeah, it was originally, oh, it says 1,164 total pieces. It's because there's a few sticker sheets in here. Anyway, it was $2. It was probably originally 5 or 10 depending on, you know, where it came from, but this is a school-related one, and now that both girls are graduated, I think it's about time I put together their school albums as I've been going through all the various boxes of paper and hodgepodge at home I've been setting aside the memorabilia and things like that to get their scrapbooks done and um, that needs to be something that happens you know by the end of the year or at least I need to have all that organized by the end of the year I won't have the scrapbooks done by the end of the year but I'd like to get working on them so I found three out of four books in a series that I didn't know existed I do recognize one of the authors 
The authors are Catherine Palmer and Gary Chapman. And Gary Chapman is the author of The Five Love Languages. And this is a Four Seasons series. And uh, I asked them, uh, this is book one, three, and four. So I don't have book two. I was asking them, I said, do you have any books in the back? Maybe somebody donated all four of these and only three of them got put out. And they're like, no, that's all we have. So anyway, I'll just have to be on the hunt for book two. But I'm assuming these are Christian fiction. And they look adorable. Um, let's find book one is It Happens Every Spring. So that's really cute. The covers are the same two businesses on, on the front, but then the colors and the leaves change with the seasons. So here's book three. So I'm just missing summer. Um, falling for you again. So see the tree above the building is fall and then winter turns to spring and so there's the winter one and those just look really cute i just spotted them they were a quarter a piece and i thought you know what i am not gonna pass those up and if you've ever heard of the series if you read christian fiction and you've heard of these let me know they really just look adorable so that is it for this haul i'm gonna turn off the camera and then i'm gonna search uh, I've already done a couple of searches. I know that there are bookstores in the area and I need to kind of map out a plan. We're going to probably get Katie some food and bring it back for their lunch break at 1.15, which is less than two hours. So I'm not going to go far in the next two hours. We'll bring her back some lunch and then it goes till seven. So we'll have plenty of time to do all kinds of fun things in this area of South Florida. So that's all for now. I'll check back in with you whenever I have something else to tell you about. Okay, so we went and found this little vegan bakery that Katie had found online. And I told her that I would go get her some food, um, you know, before we got too far out of the area. So I went ahead and got us all something, I don't know if you can see them, some spinach empanadas. They each came with some kind of sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce it is. Uh, and then I got a couple of baked goods. I don't know what she would want, but I got a couple of guava something and a cinnamon roll. I don't need to eat any of that. Um, I might take a taste. I might eat one. I shouldn't, though. I'm supposed to be dieting with my sister. Charlotte, if you're watching this... Um, Maybe I can splurge since we're on the road, but I know I shouldn't make those excuses. Anyway, um, that's what we did, and now while we're here, I'm going to search um, and just see what else is in the area before, um, before we take these back to Katie because she's still got another hour before they take a lunch break. Oh, and can you see Emily back there? <laughs> now she's gotten up. Now that I started talking, I ran in to get the food. And uh, when I came back out, she was like tired. We made her get up early. We got up at about 530 and left at 630. And she's not used to getting up that early. <laughs> so um, needless to say, she can use a nap. So there are a couple of used bookstores within a reasonable radius, but I did a search for thrift stores and I saw that there was a Salvation Army nearby, kind of on the way to the most promising looking bookstore. And then I think there's a Goodwill in this area too, so we'll try to hit both of those on our way to the book. Okay, now we are at Pembroke Pines at the Volume 1 Books store. I did get a couple of books in here, um, middle grade books. And we also stopped at a Goodwill, but I didn't find anything there. And so I just didn't vlog there because there was not any need in it. Um, I will show you what I have bought here and at Salvation Army in a little while. But while I still have some time, I want to see if I can make it to another store or two before it gets late. I'm sitting at a stoplight and over there is the Hard Rock Cafe that's shaped like a guitar. Okay, I have to vlog this place. Uh, I'm in Hollywood, Florida, and the store, I think it's called Old Florida Books, or Florida Bookshop. They have books outside that's just on the honor system where you just leave a dollar and you like slide it inside the, the door or something. And I gotta show you the inside because it's amazing. Look at that, it goes all the way to the ceiling. How incredible is that? 
It is the coolest place ever. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> Never known this place was here. How do you even get to the stuff at the top? <laughs> or do you? Wow. That is this amazing. Is awesome. We're going to have to come back here. Yeah, because I think they close at 4.30. Oh, really? That's what it saw. Oh, is it? Online it said 4.30. Oh, it said 5.30. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is incredible. So I came back outside because there's a tour group in there and they're speaking another language that I don't understand and the people who own the store were busy with them. I think they're about to close but I guess they're going to stay open a little bit later maybe. I don't know. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to look at these books that are outside and see if there's anything that I want. Um, most of what's inside, a lot of it looks like it's antique books, but it's so hard to tell because they go all the way up to the ceiling and it's a high ceiling. So it is just a beautiful, beautiful place in there, but I'm going to take a look out here while it's so crowded. So we're still sitting out front of the old Florida bookshop. I've been in a couple of times. I did miraculously find a couple of misread books, but they were ones I already had. They were in beautiful condition, but um, I was kind of glad I already had them because they were $10 a piece, and I got a whole box of those editions for $10 at a library sale. So anyway, it's a beautiful store. I'm just kind of still sitting out here to see if that event is going to get done. Um, somebody was telling me that they learned a little bit more about it. It's actually an author signing and um, I think it's a, a man and woman who have written a book and it's in Spanish I believe. So all the people who are here were Spanish speaking which I am not so I um, didn't understand what was going on but I was able to kind of look around a little bit. I was not prepared for how amazing that store is. It is just incredible. They have, they do have ladders that, like the sliding ladders, so that you can get to the upper books. I don't know if customers are allowed up there or if um, the proprietor has to be the one. I'm not really sure, but it is really amazing. So I didn't buy anything there, but I was in awe of the shop. I want to show you what I bought at the last few places, though. Um, at the Volume 1 bookstore, I got a couple of middle grade books. I have The Borrower by Mary Norton. I have The Borrower in a mass market paperback. And then a year or two ago, like, oh no, last year, I guess, I found the next three books in these editions. In, and so I was happy to find this so that this will match and they can all go together on the shelf. And then I'll put my mass market paperback copy in the little free library and then I also found another one of these um, Neverland stories by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson these this is a companion series to Peter and the Starcatcher I have listened to these on audio and I had never seen them in print until fairly recently in fact now that I say that I don't even think I've shown you the other one that I bought at the Orlando Public Library not too long ago I have filmed a book haul that I haven't uploaded and I did just a big massive library book sale haul, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and divide that up into middle grade and uh, cozy mysteries and all that. Anyway, uh, this is a different one. This one is Cave of the Dark Wind, and the one I got the other day is, I think, Blood Tide. There's another one that has something to do with Carnival. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's only three of them, and they're just little companion books to Peter and the Star Catchers. They're not, uh, they're not long at all. And then at Salvation Army, I got two books. I saw, uh, this was kind of behind some other books and I, I could see that it said Rivers and I thought, oh, maybe it's the Masterpiece because I want to participate in the Masterpiece read along with Becca from Hicks Picks Books. But this is Her Daughter's Dream, which I think is the sequel to I think it's called Her Mother's Hope. It's a book I have on my shelf that is a, the first in a duology, and I think this is the second book. So it's a 
chunker as a lot of Francine River books are, her books are. But I just decided to go ahead and grab this. And then I got also a little uh, quilting, uh, I don't know if this is devotions or just little, little inspirational stories. Quilted with Love, Discovering the Patterns of Life's Grace and Beauty by Debbie Salter Goodwin. And I will eventually give that to my sister. I'll probably read it myself first, but it's a beautiful little book. Sorry, I forgot my, uh, we're in Katie's car today, and I forgot to bring my little thing that sticks to the inside of the windshield to put my phone in. I'm trying to see if there's any quilt pictures. I'm sure there are. Okay, you kind of get the gist of it. And I also got a couple of t-shirts. Um, Emily wanted this one. I don't know if I can hold it up with just one hand. I think this is Elmo. It should be. The mouth doesn't exactly look like Elmo, but I think it is. And then this one I got because Katie is always looking for ridiculous t-shirts. She usually sleeps in them. This, she likes the really big ones. This one is kind of small, but I, I couldn't resist getting it. Usually the ones she ends up finding are some sort of cat or cats riding on something ridiculous, like in a space scene. I know this sounds ridiculous that they would even make stuff like this, but she has one of a cat riding a dinosaur and then there's another one where there's like donuts, like they're out in space with cat heads in the donuts. <laughs> I need to just show you the whole collection sometime. But this one is a dog one and it says, Bacon It Rain. And it, oh, so the reason I went ahead and got it is because it also has, the dog is wearing a shirt with the cat on it. This is too small, probably, I don't know, it would probably fit Katie, but it's not. She likes the big oversized ones. But anyway, can you see that? It's got falling bacon. It's so ridiculous. Anyway, that's what I got at the thrift stores. Uh, I'm going to look. We're in Hollywood now, and I haven't searched to see if there's any thrift stores here. Most of the bookstores are closing by now. It's about, uh, it's like a little after five. Um, I don't think I'm going to go back in there, although I would like to see if he has Lark Rice to Candleford, since that's a classic, and they've got a lot of old books and classics in there. Um, but I don't know how long this event's going to go on. And it's a very narrow store with not a lot of foot room to walk around. So I think I will just, um, I'll, I'll bypass going back in. It was beautiful though. And I will search now and see if there's any thrift stores in the area that might still be open and go and see, um, what we can find. Emily's behind me. You probably can't see her, <laughs> but, um, we're going to try probably not to get anything else to eat until Katie gets done because she's been scoping out some places that she wants to eat and she's done in a couple of hours. So we're going to see if we can do a little more shopping, maybe get something to drink, although I do have some water and we'll check in with you later. Oh, I also wanted to add my apologies to Ro from Cozy Reads Mystery and Tiffany the Beach Bum Bookworm because they are having their live stream right now and I missed it because I'm here on the road and I don't really have Wi-Fi. I would have to use data and it uses a lot of data to go on to YouTube. Anyway, my apologies for missing the live stream book club discussion of Mr. Monk Goes to the Firehouse. I love that book. I love that whole series. TV show, books, they're all great. And uh, I'll have to go back and watch it later after the fact. But if either of you girls or any of the people who participate in that are watching uh, sorry I missed it but I'll hopefully catch up next month or, or next week for um, whenever they do the next uh, reading sprints or whatever but uh, just wanted to say sorry I missed the book club meeting so I turned the camera off and I was watching just to see how the footage looked and it looks like I have a black eye I don't have a black eye I just want to let you know I don't know just bags under my eyes I guess you know getting old Hi, it's me again. So I'm back in Davie, Florida. I thought I would kind of work my way back around to where Katie is so that I wouldn't be too far away. And most um, bookstores are closed at this time on a Saturday evening, but I thought I would look around and see if there were any thrift stores still open. And I found three kind of in this one 
general area. One of them, I, well, the first one I went in said, um, oh, I said, do you have any books? And he said, oh, I think I've got two or three stacks sitting around. And I'm like, oh, okay, you don't have a bookshelf? And he said, no, usually if people donate books, I pass them on to another store. I said, oh, well, what store? So I came on down here and I did find um, at this one thrift store, it's called Secondhand Goddess or goddesses in uh, Davie, Florida. And I got this Larry McMurtry book. It is Some Can Whistle. And uh, it's in good shape. So uh, I don't know if this is a standalone or part of a series. I just, I knew I didn't have it. And so they said, well, there's another secondhand store that's in the same plaza. I don't know if they have books or not, but you know, you could check it out. So she had just one little shelf and I found this and I decided to go ahead and get it. It was only a dollar. Elvis, We Love You Tinder. Um, D Press. Dee Presley, Billy Rick, and David Stanley as told to Martin Torgoff. So one of the things that made me go ahead and get it though is because I first opened it up and there's a couple of things in here that were used as bookmarks. One of them is this envelope that has an address on it. Florida City, Florida. It's got a 15 cent stamp. It, was, it came from someone in Seattle, Washington, or that's where it was postmarked, in 1980. So that's pretty cool. And then I flipped through it some more and I found this Texaco travel card application. <laughs> so, um, I just thought that was fun. Yeah, there you go. I wonder if this would still, I wonder if you could still fill this out. <laughs> um, stuff like that makes book books fun. Anyway, so I'm gonna do one more Google search and just see if there's anything else in the area. Sorry, my hair is a mess. Um, it's been a day uh, because I have been hot and sweaty and, you know, it's just been um, rather warm today. It's cooled off some now and um, I'm just rambling. So I guess that's it. I'm going to do one more search and see what else is there, what else is here. I've still got an hour and 15 minutes and I'm probably only 15 minutes away from where Katie is. So we'll, we'll find something to do to fill up the time. Uh, or I'll read a book. I did bring a bag full of books that I could read and I've been listening to um, the True Love No, First Love Cookie Club on Scribd. It's by Lori Wilde. It's a romance in the Twilight Texas series. Okay, I'm back for one more time. It is about 6.30 p.m. and Katie is at 7 and uh, we're just a few minutes from where she is. But there was one last thrift store that I found when I was Google searching and it said they were open till 7. So I thought I would just go ahead and come by. It was a pretty small store and they mostly dealt in furniture. And when I walked in, I kind of knew they probably weren't going to have any books. But I asked them and um, they there was like maybe four or five books in this one little place. But I, I said, well, I'm just, you know, I'm just out thrifting today, so I'll just poke around. And so I went to the back, and I found this, and I brought it up to the front, and she said $2. And I thought, I have to get this. It is these little tiny um, dictionaries, I believe. There's one that's English, one that's Italian to English, German to English, French to English, and Spanish to English. They're actual little books. They have gold, um, what do you call that? <laughs> the edges of the page. And it's tiny little writing. But they're in this little metal bookcase thing that's just uh, looped around, uh, just, you know, curved around. And I think I could paint that. And this these would just be a cute little decor item. Um, I have some little tiny wooden books that I've used in Instagram pictures and people have asked me where I got those and I don't even really know. <laughs> but but these I got uh, at a thrift store today. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And they, they could be useful. I don't know. Although most of these, I'm sure most of the translations in here are available online. I just thought they would make a cute little decor piece. And so for $2, I went ahead and got this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back now to where Katie is, and then I've got to 
bag up all the stuff that I've been purchasing so that I have a place to sit. Or I think I'm going to be driving home and Katie is going to be taking it easy because she's had a full day of physical exertion. And um, so I guess I'll sign off here and then when I get home I can upload this video. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been a fun day uh, and I'm glad you got to spend it with me. So Come back soon for another video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.